They got three cars involved off of turn two as they've had contact. And uh, up on top of the one car is Marcus Ambrose. That's the 59 car of Ambrose, the rookie. And his car has come to rest on top of the hood of the one of J.J. Yaley. When you need front wheel drive somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that baby's not going anywhere yet. No. That's unfortunate. He'd probably be able to pull away from there, but he's more than likely now going to lose a lap sitting there. I'll show you what happened. The 25 car is David Gilman on the inside. Yeah, very similar to what we saw with Stephen Wallace. You get real loose down on the bottom, and it looked like that David, Marcus Ambrose didn't have, didn't give him a lot of room to try to catch the car. And then uh, they banged wheels and spun out there, but you yeah, didn't get like to see what happened. But it looked like that that one car maybe ran up underneath the 59 after this. racetrack we talk about how flat this racetrack is anyway and you're on the bottom I mean, this is literally almost off camber down there and trying to get traction there is difficult especially uh when you've got low air pressure what happened how'd that car end up on top of yours uh it was all like days of thunder you know there was smoke and a car spinning and uh i didn't make it the, uh it looked like the it looked like the uh the 59 got spun there trying to get past david gill and then I was trying to get the outside, and the hole closed just as I got there. And I uh, it was a wedge between the wall and the car, and pretty much killed the front end of the car. So I'm much downforce, and I'll say hi to the family back at the beach who are enjoying their day. Probably better than my day, but, uh, you know, you have days like this. I was kind of hoping to just push at the trailer, but I guess we'll go around, ride around, collect some points, and uh, make a real long day of it.